and welcome back super mums. In today's video I'm going to be discussing my experience of the Mummy Tribe retreat and why you need to take a break from your routine. <laughs> please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them enjoy their motherhood too. So the Mummy Tribe Retreat was set up by three mums, one of them whose face you will probably recognise because it's Binky from Made in Chelsea. That is how I initially found it because Binky was my favourite person in Made in Chelsea so I was following her online and it all pinged up about her starting the Mummy Tribe Retreat uh, with these two other awesome mums and kind of like well I've got to go. I went to a one day one last year because I wasn't going to be able to make uh, any of the three day dates but I had such an amazing time I really wanted to make one of the three day retreats this year. The three day retreats incorporate really good food, good exercise, expert advice, building a lovely community and just getting a chance to stay away from your, your home and your real life with your child with some amazing childcare on hand. I think it's really important to step away from your usual routine from time to time. It's a great way to bizarrely recharge. A change is as good as a rest, but really focusing in on what from your current routine and structure can you take with you. So there's a little bit of consistency there, not just for you, mainly for your child. So they, there's, there's reassurance in that structure and routine, and there is a lot of like scientific fact-based evidence about kids thriving in structure and routine. And you don't want to completely throw all of that out the window. That can be a little bit terrifying. For me, that is also terrifying. I love my structure and routine. I love my systems. I know where everything is in my house. Everything runs smoothly. Like I work really hard at all of that. And yeah, this is completely out of my comfort zone to suddenly be in a strange place. So I set my objectives for what I was going to be there what be getting out of it while I was there I thought through what bits of my routine do I want to take with me what things from life here do I want to take with me there so I made sure that she was still going to be eating the same stuff that she normally eats she's a good eater we know what she likes what she doesn't like she's used to a certain way of eating I didn't want to change that I also didn't want to change her food time so she still ate at the same time while we were away and even though there she probably would have eaten the big people's stuff and things while we were there it was it was her food I took stuff that was like I'd homemade extra of things for the week before and froze some dishes so they were they were meals that she was used to her digestive system didn't have to deal with anything different her brain didn't have to deal with anything different and like I said, the times of the food would still be the same. The nights we were away, she went down at the same time and got up at the same time. So bedtime, morning time stayed the same. And then I did some slight tweaks within that. So we still had some quiet time together, cuddling before bedtime. Normally we would do this with a Disney movie on, but instead we had a cuddle and did some songs in mummy's bed. And so there's that bit of variation, but still enough of the structure there for her to, not feel completely at odds and for me not to feel completely at odds it's like a nice balance for my personal objectives for the whole thing i wanted to relax i was always going to join in with some of the classes and things like that but i'm really bad for fomo i'm always worried that i'm going to be missing something if i'm not doing everything and i was like no i'm going in with the objective for the trip that I want to come away feeling relaxed and recharged so I'm not going to get on my own back about getting involved with everything. You may decide you want to go into something and make sure you're doing all the fitness bit of it, maybe all the fitness side is going to be the important bit to you, you're not so worried about getting your treatments done or something like that but whatever it is or you want to meet some new people, maybe you want to connect with everyone or you want to make one good friend, like whatever it is, set your objective, the thing that you're going to and it stops like the whole event feeling massively overwhelming. A really good packing list for any trip is really important and I could share you my packing list but you'd be like why is that on there and why is that on there and this doesn't match me so I put it into three sections you want eat sleep and wear so what are they wearing uh, when they're small you need some spare outfits when they're not small actually I take spare outfits because if you suddenly get caught in a downpour or you like you come on and you need a new change like 
you never know and like weather changes i mean this was the end of february in the uk it could have been snowing it was lovely and sunny but it could have been snow what are you wearing covering all your options yeah if you're in the uk weather variations things like that what are you wearing what are you sleeping in so when they're really small this includes like cots and blackout tents and extra mattresses and sheets and blankets and things like that sleeping bag those kind of things what are you actually going to sleep in and pajamas wise because uh, pajamas for me need to be in wear and sleep because it's one of those things i always forget and like last minute add it to the list and then eat so have you planned out where you're going to eat that's suitable for the kids suitable for you if you've got allergies things like that do you need to take any utensils with you those kind of things do you need to take food with you how does that all work so packing list should be uh, eat sleep and wear as wonderful as going on any kind of trip is doing it with young kids kids of any age in tow can be a little bit stressful so i did have to keep reminding myself to stay calm that it wasn't gonna be what i was used to at home because it was something different it to be honest it was something better it was wonderful but it's still different is is scary and i did remind myself of some of my calm affirmations i've got them on a free downloadable so you literally what you can put it on your computer screen or you can print it off and put it up somewhere you might want to take a copy with you and then at times when the trip's getting a bit too stressful and you just need to bring yourself back down you can just go through your little calm affirmations so i'll link that one down below for me the mommy tribe retreat and often a lot of the trips that we do it's not as much about me as it is about Felicity. I want her to experience different environments than her normal everyday routine. As much as I think it's important to have that consistency, these little jolts of different is also really good for her development. And I'm, I'm absolutely stunned at the changes I saw in her when we came back. She's talking so much more. She was quite a talker already, but much more cl big clusters of words she's not yet two and we're having like five and six word sentences but she also wasn't talking as much in front of other people as she would in front of mummy daddy and now she'll talk a lot more in front of other people as well so i definitely feel like this has had a massive positive impact on her she's had kids of a few different ages to play with she got lots of constant attention and things which is always a nice distraction so mummy can go off and enjoy a talk or have a treatment but I also made sure that I got some really good quality time with her, that I would go and pick her up early from the childcare so that I could just chill out and hang out with her a little bit. Whereas at home, we don't always get as much of that time as I would have liked. I think one of the important things to get the most out of any trip, whether you're going with mommy tribe, you're going on a family holiday, is have a like return game plan. Are you gonna have a day of chilling out when you get back are you going straight back into work is your kid going straight back into nursery or with a nanny and things like what's going to happen when you're going to get back and how can you make that a smooth transition allow yourself some time to unpack and get things out allow yourself uh the, like the scope for maybe you're going to get a takeaway the night you come back or if you've gone away without your partner is he in charge of the food when you come back like is there anything to eat when you come back things like that it's really important to think those things through before you go because otherwise you can go come back re refreshed and revived and lose it all within the first 24 hours whatever possible it's nice to have an extra day of like retreat time when you get home that you're kind of sort of logged off from the real world still and you can get yourself settled and back into your routine and kind of set a deadline though for when that bit ends and you are back into your normal structure routine life because otherwise you can find yourself bringing bits of your routine from when you're away back into your real life which isn't always a bad thing but you need to decide whether those are things you want back in your real life or not. I really hope to do another mummy tribe retreat later this year but if it ends up like last year, the dates might not match up, so we shall see. But if you are looking at going there and you have any other questions, feel free to pop me an email, hello at supermumsociety.com. Quite happy to answer any of them, but the team are awesome. Ask them anything that doesn't seem to be a stupid question. It would definitely be a two thumbs up high recommendation from me. 
And just to make it clear, this isn't in any way a paid ad. This is my own personal recommendation from something I went to and really loved and think is really beneficial if you're able to go. I do believe they are gonna be doing some shorter ones throughout the year as well. So if you can't get away for three days, then there's gonna be a few different options coming out too. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again. Oh,